Hey guys, Jake here. Got another review today. Today we're going to be talking about the Axiom Pyro. The Pyro um, is a disc that I wasn't initially interested in. Um, the Pyro is a, a just an overstable mid-range, and I was really convinced that the disc I wanted was the Runway, the Streamline Runway. Um, but in my Gyropalooza pack, I ended up getting a Pyro, and after trying it out and feeling it in my hand, it was pretty much an instant conversion. It felt so good. It's just the perfect disc feel, and then after taking it out to the field and seeing it fly, it, it became... It pretty much went right in the bag, and after that, I acquired two more, um, and I am sure I will have a few more in the future. But uh, the Pyro has essentially turned into my overstable mid slash utility disc. So uh, I'm going to overlay a bunch of footage in this this video. Um, some of it is the first few will just be some drives, not exactly what I would use the Pyro for anyway, but just to give you an idea of how it flies. Um, Keeping in mind that I max out at around 400 feet of distance with a distance driver, not with a pyro. <laughs> um, and that uh, the, the majority of the time I'll be using this for uh, sort of utility mid-range shots, not full power drives. Um, so I'll, I'll show a couple of drives, but after that it'll be mostly up shots from around 200 feet or so uh, in a variety of different uh, you know, backhand, forehand, grenades, skips, things like that. So, um, yeah, let's get into it. Uh, the Pyro. The Pyro is a Speed 5, Glide 4, Turn 0, and Fade 2.5. I think that all of those numbers are dead accurate. Um, the, you know, the speed obviously is all mid-ranges are essentially a Speed 5, it seems like. Um, the glide, I would say it does glide a bit less than average, so the 4 is good. It definitely has never turned on me, and the fade is, it's definitely there. It's strong, but it's not ridiculous. It's still usable. Um, so the runway, the thing I loved about the runway is that it was like a drone. I mean, that thing was fighting left the second it left my hand. Um, and that, that shot definitely has its uses, but as I tried using the, the Pyro more, which will definitely fly more straight and then just hyzer out at a you know more normal uh, sort of rate, I find that's a lot more useful for a lot more shots. So uh, I kind of have been converted away from the stupid overstable to just, you know, usably overstable, if you will. Um, I think that the, the different discs I have fly sort of different um, in which is strange because they're all I don't know I guess one of them is prism proton and the other two are prism plasma but all three of them seem to fly a little bit different I don't know if that's just the ones that I have because one of them's a lab second the other one's a misprint and the third one's an actual like uh, normal run um, but they do fly decidedly different. Um, but generally, they're, they're going to do what you expect for, you know, if you're going to drive with them, they're going to fly, you know, maybe 200 and 250 feet at most, and then they're just going to hyzer out pretty hard at the end. Um, they're great for forehanding. These discs are one of my favorite for forehands. Um, they just... Because they're not so overstable right away, I can get enough straight distance with them. They're actually, they actually fly very, very straight. Whereas like a, if I were to try to flick um, a reactor with the same amount of power, I tend to turn them over a little bit. So this is just nice. Um, if Since I don't have the cleanest forehand form, I know that I'm not going to turn and burn these guys. They'll just have a nice straight flight with a nice fade at the end. Um, they're fantastic for utility shots. So these things can flare skip like nobody's business. I love these things. If I have a tight 90 degree turn, I will skip the, these things around it every time. Um, the only other disc that skips better than these that I've found would be a flare, um, a streamlined flare. Or I guess technically a Nuke OS as well. But 
these things are just so nice for those shots. Um, it's not a common shot. You don't use it a ton, but when you need it, it's really nice to have a disc that'll do it. Also, I use these for grenades. Um, I don't throw a grenade very often. You know, I've probably done it in an actual round less than a dozen times, but this would be the disc that I do it with, and it, every time I've done it in the field or for whatever reason, it's, it's worked out really well with these. So, um, also a nice forehand, like sort of flex out of the woods, trouble sh getting out of trouble scrambling shots. Uh, these things are just really great for that. Um, so yeah, there's not really much more to say about them. Um, the, the different discs, I mentioned they fly a little bit differently. So the, the, the one disc I have for my Gyropalooza box, the Lab Second, it's the most different of all of them. It doesn't have any, it has one little like flaw on the rim, um, but nothing that I would have expected it to fly terribly different. But this thing flies so much straighter and fades so much less than the others. It's, it's what I imagine these discs are meant to fly like when they have been beat about as long as you can beat, like, you know, a 20 year old disc that's been, you know, smashed into every tree ever found, laid in the bottom of the lake for a year, you know, one of those discs, that's what I ex would expect this to fly. It's so much more straight. It's almost like throwing a reactor, um, but it does hook up a little bit more at the end. So it, it's unique, and I don't think that they're meant to fly like this, but it, it is still a useful disc. And I actually use this for big spike hyzers because I know it's not going to flip up and glide on me. It's going to come back down. Um, but I don't trust it if I really need it to, you know, fade out real hard at the end. I don't, I don't think this is the one that I'm ever going to trust for that shot. Um, <clears throat> the other one I have, the, the misprint. This one is probably, you know, more what I expected from the numbers. It's, you know, it, it flies exactly what I have described every time the same way. Um, it does that sort of straight flight, hard dump at the end, um, but it won't fly nearly as long as the, the one I was just talking about, um, the lab second. So this one's like a, seems like it's somewhat beat in, I guess would be the way I would describe it. It's flight. Um, whereas the very last one I have in the proton plastic, this guy, um, this thing is very, very overstable. Um, this thing is the one that I throw for the super flare skips. Um, it's the one that I, I expect to dump hardest and earliest of the three, um, which is interesting because it's only 170 uh, grams, and this other blue one is 176 grams. So, it, I don't know. They do fly differently, and I don't have enough experience with the pyro to know if that's common or if I just have some unicorn discs that fly special. Um but all three of them are useful, and I can use them for the same shots. I just have to know which one I have in my hand and kind of think a little bit harder about how I'm going to use it. Um, I'll be interested to see as I go along, as I collect more of these, because I know it's going to happen, um, kind of if it becomes a more consistent flight with each one that I throw, or if they all just are a little bit different, and it's just not a very uh, consistent mold. So... Uh, but either way, fantastic disc. I didn't expect to get as much use out of these as I do. Um, I think the runway, I bought it and it sat in my bag and I think I maybe threw it like two or three times in, you know, 20 rounds. <laughs> Whereas these guys, I pull them out probably at least once or twice a round. Um, a lot of times for getting out of trouble. Um, but yeah, just a, a great overstable mid. Um, it's like a super beefy reactor in the feel, I think is what I would say. Um, yeah, so I guess that's all I have to say about the pyro. If you have any other comments or thoughts, go ahead and throw a comment below. Otherwise, feel free to subscribe. I'll have some more reviews and other content coming out in the near future. And yeah, otherwise, we'll catch you in the next one.